Hi, Trippy here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to train your aim like an immortal. I'm going to cover everything from finding the right sensitivity all the way up to crosshair placement and movement. So if you're anywhere from iron to diamond, this video should be helpful for you. So let's get into the range and get started. So once we're in the training range, the first thing you should know is getting a proper sensitivity. So if you open settings and head on over to the general tab, you'll see this here, which is a sensitivity setting. 1.05 at 400 dpi is one that I've used for a long time. Some people call that pretty quick, but I find it to be all right. Um, 800 dpi, you'd obviously half this. And from there on, you can kind of calculate it just by halving it every time you double your dpi. The only goal with sensitivity is you want to find something as fast as possible, but you still want to be able to control it. And that control is the most important part because it'll help you maintain consistency with your aim. There are a lot of tricks to help you find good sensitivity, such as one full mouse pad movement should be a 360 in game. I don't know how I really feel about those. Personally, I just think if you're comfortable with the sensitivity and you're still able to control it, it doesn't matter too much how, how much these mouse pad movements really are. Once you've found a good sensitivity and you feel comfortable with it, the next important part is finding a crosshair that suits you. If you like this crosshair here, I'll link the details down below, or you could even use it as a base and adjust it how you like it. The only thing to take away from the crosshair is you don't want it too big, such as something like this, where you won't be able to see the enemies if they're far away in the crosshair. And personally, I don't like really small ones like the dot crosshair because they don't have this horizontal line to help guide you at head height, which is going to come into play later in the video when I talk about crosshair placement. So once you're comfortable with your sensitivity and your crosshair settings, I suggest coming into the range, pressing F3 to open your bot menu, and finding out some good settings that suit you at your current level of skill. Personally, if I was starting out brand new, I would go on easy bots, armor off with infinite ammo, and just see how that sort of works for you. Once you can hit 30 bots on easy mode, I suggest moving up to medium bots, and from there on moving up to hard, when you can do about 25, 30 consistently on the medium bots. Personally, I've been doing this for a long time, so I usually work on medium bots with bot armor on and infinite ammo. This gains you the practice of killing enemies by not spraying them, because if you spray them with hard mode, you won't be able to get actual kills. I accidentally hit two of them in the head there, but I was trying to demonstrate that you can't kill them with body shots. Best practice is you want to try to hit the bots in the head whenever you can, because it'll insta-kill them with a gun such as a Vandal or a Phantom. This brings me to my next point. What guns should you be training in the practice range? I suggest only training with Vandal, Phantom, Guardian, Sheriff, or my personal favorite, the Chamber Pistol. That's because all of these guns will one hit to the head, minus potentially the Phantom. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine, and you're not really fine. But other than that, all of these will one hit to the head um, at this range, even with armor on and in game. Personally, when I hit around 17 bots on hard mode, I feel like I'm ready to start my other part of the warm up. So right there, I hit 18. I feel that's good enough for me to start the rest of my warm-up. From there, I hit the practice, and you'll notice these bots are standing still. You can practice just hitting them in the head, tapping them, and flicking over to each bot. So you can go from side to side and see if that helps you with your flicks. You can use a chamber pistol or a sheriff, whatever, whatever kind of gun helps suits your playstyle and whatever one you want to practice with the most. I find all of these one-tap guns are sort of the best for getting consistent with this aim, and it'll help you improve the most in the long run. If you want to make this part of the training a little bit more realistic, I would go into your F3 menu and turn on strafing. This will make the bots move around a little bit and make them a lot harder to hit, which is a lot more of an accurate representation of how the opponents will actually be in-game, as they're very rarely just standing still unless you catch them off guard. Another question I get asked a lot of is how do I stop crouching or when should I crouch? As a general rule, if you're fighting more than one enemy, crouching is a bad idea because you're sacrificing your mobility to gain a little bit of accuracy. Accuracy is very important, but as you get better, you will notice that the first shot accuracy is enough to kill an enemy and keep your mobility. This is why a lot of higher elo players use something called counter strafing, where you walk, you stop, you shoot the opponent, and then you walk the other way. If you speed it up a little bit, it increases your mobility and keeps your accuracy about the same, which makes it a lot harder for your enemy to hit you while you still have accuracy on your enemy. Once you feel like you've warmed up enough on the bots, I exit to the main menu to start up a deathmatch. I think deathmatches are crucial to every warmup as it's the most effective way of practicing everything the game has to offer without putting your rank on the line. For example, you practice your movement, your sound awareness, your aim, your reflexes, 
all of those and more combine into one game mode without using your ring. And it's very, very fast. The next thing I want to talk about is good crosshair placement, which is how I'm able to hit heads so consistently. Majority of the time, you don't actually need good reflexes to aim well. You just need to have your crosshair placed where you think their head's going to be to minimize the amount of movement it'll take for you to click on their head. As you can see, when I peek corners, I'm already pre-aiming the corner as to where I think an enemy's head is going to be. Using sound to your advantage is also very important. Every material in this game makes a different sound with the enemy's footsteps, which you can use to locate how close the enemy is to you if you know the map pretty well. For example, this guy's on sand, but if somebody's over there on the cement, it would make a different sound. So using these sounds to your advantage will not only help you locate how far the enemy is away, but it'll also give you a timing as to when the enemy is going to be peeking the corner. For example, there's one lower mid right now. And just that sound knowledge of him reloading was enough for me to be able to tell when he was going to be able to peek. So there's one last thing I want to cover, and I'm doing it last because it should be your last resort. When you're in a gunfight, a lot of people will automatically resort to sprays, and that's not how you should aim train. Spraying should be a last resort for multiple enemies that are in your face, and the only way that I've found to practice this is by turning your ammo, infinite ammo off in the range, going over to this target, Finding what your spray pattern looks like for each gun. For example, the Vandal makes this weird 7 looking shape. If you just hold it down, you'll see that every time the clip makes this 7. And the only way I've found to practice it is by hitting this bot in the head with as many of the bullets from the spray as I can. So by this, and then you pull down and to the right a little bit, you can see I hit him with all 25 bullets right in the head. And that's just from practicing the spray pattern a little bit. If you go a little bit further back and slowly increase it, I will obviously become way less accurate the further he goes back, which as you can see is a great representation of why we don't spray unless there's multiple enemies near our area. If you want to practice spray patterns with any gun, come over to this target in the range and just hold down your mouse without making any movements. This will give you an idea of what the spray pattern looks like and all you have to do to practice the spray pattern is do the opposite of whatever this looked like. For example, this one is a little 7 that hovers back and forth up top, so we're going to go down and then hover back and forth along the bottom. As you can see, it's a lot more controlled, even though it's not perfect, it would just come with some practice. Well, there you have it. That's my guide to aim training like an immortal. If you think I left anything out, please let me know in the comments down below. Or if you found some of these tips useful, smash the like button, hit subscribe, and I promise I will make another video that is useful for you. If you want to catch some of this content live, feel free to check me out on twitch.tv slash hightrippy. I stream every Monday through Friday, maybe bar Wednesday sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> I also plan on making another video very soon about managing economy um, and many other things. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Join the Discord. The link's down there. Other than that, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Hope you guys have a good one. Bye now. I know we grew up a little too fast. I miss the days that we try to relax. Where did the time go? It all passed. Now I need to go back. I had no worries, but always had plans. Only thing I